Hey, what's up guys, Joker here. Today we're gonna to be talking a bit about supply and demand as well as paper launches and how it pertains to graphics cards and the recent announcements from Nvidia as well as AMD. If you remember about a month ago, we got the announcement of the GTX 1080 and 1070 graphics cards from Nvidia via a paper launch. Now, what is a paper launch exactly? Well, Urban Dictionary defines a paper launch as a release of a product, especially a computer component, in extremely limited quantities, making it very difficult for consumers to get their hands on. The purpose of this is generally for companies to be able to say, we have the fastest chip before they can actually produce large numbers of them. And that does appear to be what is exactly happening here with the GTX 1080 and 1070 launches. And as a result of this paper launch, we have seen prices go up much higher than what you would have expected to normally see at retail. And with these cards already shipping at a higher price because of the Founders Edition or the Nvidia tax on the Suckers Edition that Nvidia has put out there for its consumers, you can see why a lot of people may be, uh, you know, just a little bit upset with Nvidia for this. We've seen the uh, 1080s shipping now, you know, you could buy them uh, over on Amazon from a lot of the third party sellers for well above what the MSRP is of $599 and even higher than what the Founders Edition cards are supposed to be selling for at $699. At the time of me making this video, you can generally find them for around $800 to $850, but there are some retailers that are gouging even beyond that, selling them for over $1,000, which is even more egregious than what you would find over on eBay. You can find uh, used and new cards uh, for just over $700 in most cases. So, I mean, they are out there, and if you want to, you still want to get when you can get them at the normal price, you just kind of got to wait and be patient. They do show up on the GeForce website, um, you know, for the regular Founders Edition price, which is still, uh, you know, kind of like built in price gouging by NVIDIA. They put this higher price on these cards before the board partner cards were even available, basically screwing over the board partner cards, I feel personally. You guys can let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel about the, uh, you know, the Founders Edition and all of that. But personally, I feel like it was a very dirty tactic by NVIDIA, um, you know, kind of charging like a tax or a fee for their founders cards so that people can go out there and get these cards before the other ones are available. It's it's almost like a early access GPUs in a way, except in this early access, you're paying more for what you're getting, uh, which is essentially the same exact thing as what you'll have later. And in most cases with board partner cards, probably better. And this is certainly not the first time that something like this has happened. NVIDIA just happens to be the most recent offender of this type of occurrence in the tech industry. If you remember back when the Athlon 64s were going to be released by AMD, Intel pushed out a number of their Pentium 4 Extreme Edition processors to reviewers. And not only that, but they were actually shipping to reviewers at a higher clock speed of 3.4 gigahertz than what consumers were able to get months later when it actually did hit store shelves. So this kind of stuff happens all the time and it's something that I've never been a fan of and I just really hope that we do get away from it in the future. Switching gears over to AMD with the RX 480 launch, which is happening in just a couple of days from now, we've already seen them announce these graphics cards, but what AMD has done right is that reviewers are not going to actually have reviews out for the cards until they are available to the public. The cards are available on the 29th, the reviews come out on the 29th, and AMD is also set up uh, a lot better for the supply of these graphics cards, having 25 times larger shipments going to retailers than what the GTX 1080 had at launch as reported over on WCCF Tech. So it appears that AMD is just in a much better position for this launch than Nvidia is right now, which seems to me like a lot of the reasons why Nvidia may have kind of rushed the launch of the GTX 1080 and 1070 and not had enough supply to meet the demand of consumers right now. And maybe they did that because they knew AMD was coming out with their 400 series card at the end of the month. And they knew they had to get out this paper launch now to kind of get people amped up about these more powerful cards so that they would want to go out and buy those instead of AMD's offerings. And with AMD set to be announcing their Vega cards probably later this year, which will be competing directly with Nvidia's 10 series of GPUs, it would put them in a good position to kind of take away that market from AMD preemptively before those cards are even available, uh, which is not the first time something like that has happened 
either. All right, guys, but I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here now. As always, the links to the source material is going to be down in the description below, and I do look forward to our discussion in the comments section, so please let me know your thoughts on all of the evidence and opinions that I presented here today, and I do look forward to speaking to you guys about your opinions on this particular subject. But I'll catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.